This is Chris Morgan for the Gathering for Gardeners Celebration of Mind. Today I'm going to show you how to perform a wonderful mathematical card trick called the Little Pack of Fibs. It was created by Colm Mulcahy and it's based on the Fibonacci series, although you're not going to tell your audience that, so just between you and me, the Fibonacci series is present in these six cards. Playing cards are great for working with the Fibonacci series because they go up above 10 to 11, 12, 13. So you'd have the 8, the 9, the 10. The jack would be 11, the queen would be 12, and the king here is worth 13. Also, the ace will be 1 for our purposes. So here's the, the set of six cards that we'll be using for the trick. And they do form a Fibonacci series, and each number is the sum of the two before it. So 3 is 1 plus 2, 5 is 2 plus 3, 8 is 3 plus 5, and 13 is 5 plus 8. Now, in order to fool our audience, we have to make them think that these are just randomly picked chosen cards, but in fact, we have to use this exact set of cards. Now, you don't have to use these suits. You can pick any suits you want, but you do have to memorize whatever suits you have and whatever values. So, I have a little cheat sheet here because I have a terrible memory and I would hide that under the table. But if you can memorize them, it would be great. So again, ace of clubs, two of diamonds, three of spades, five of clubs, eight of diamonds, and king of spades. So we'll keep that cheat sheet down here, but only we get to see it. So here's how we do the trick. We have the deck here, and we put these six cards on top of the deck, lay it aside until we're ready to do the trick, and then when we're ready to do the trick, we come out and we say, let's do a little card trick. Here's a deck of cards. I'll just mix them up a little bit. Now you see what I'm doing. I'm not mixing up the ones up at the top. That's where our six cards are. So we say, all right, I've mixed them up a little bit. Here, take some cards, and I hand them to the spectators. Now, I don't even mention that there are six cards. So it sounds like I've just picked a bunch of cards. So I hand those to the spectators, and I say, mix them up. They mix them up. Now, of course, they, they could be anywhere, and I wouldn't know it. And then you spread them out, and you find two people to help you out. So, a spectator here and a spectator here, and you say, would you please select a card? And they come over and they select a card. Thank you. And now, would you please select a card? And they come and select a card. They have a free choice. And now you say to them, I want you both to remember your cards. Please don't forget your card. If you want to, you can whisper the name of your card to a friend. After you've done that, I would like you both to add up your cards and tell me what the sum of the two cards is. Well, let's say they say 13. And you say, 13, that's an interesting number. That could be a combination of a 10 and a 3, or it could be a jack and a 2. Uh, it could be a 9 and a 4. Gosh, all kinds of possibilities. But you know, I think your cards are the 5 of clubs and the 8 of diamonds. And they turn them over. And amazingly enough, you're right. And this will really fool people. The reason why it works is all you have to do is take the total they give you, which they said was 13, and you look on your list in your head or on your piece of paper which you're hiding, and you look for the highest fib number that's under that total. So we can't pick the king of spades because that's 13, and that was the number they gave us. So the next one that's the highest is the eight of diamonds. So that's one of the cards. How do you get the other card? You subtract the eight from the total they gave you, and eight from 13 is five. And there's only one five, and that's the five of clubs. So you can instantly say, the names of the two cards. And that is the little pack of Fibs trick. Celebration of Mind, October 21st, 2013 online at celebrationofmind.org. We want people to use their minds.
will you? Hey!